think what would be nice is some blueberries as well. And I think I've got some in the fridge. Oh, do I have some blueberries? Yeah, I got some blue. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a really nice sweet on the menu and it is raw peanut butter and chocolate cheesecake. That's right, there's no cooking involved whatsoever. There's actually no refined sugar in there either. And it's made in about half an hour and we can get it in the freezer and you can tuck into it whenever you want over like the space of three months. It's really great, it's really handy. So first up, let's make the base. I've just lined this loose bottom cake tin. It's really handy and important that you have a loose bottom cake tin. It just makes it easy to get the cheesecake out basically. So that's a loose bottom cake tin, which I've just lined with some greaseproof baking paper. The base mainly consists of dates and nuts. So first up into the blender, I'm adding a cup and a half of pitted dates. Get those in. I'm also gonna add one cup of mixed nuts, which I've just ground up basically. You can literally just throw everything in and blend it up. I'm also adding two tablespoons of melted coconut oil and a tiny bit of vanilla bean paste. Don't need to add any sweetness because obviously the dates are really, really sweet. So let's pop the lid on and get this blitzed up. So once that's blended up, it should almost look like it's combined together. And that's just because the dates are sticky and there's a bit of coconut oil in there. That's perfect. But feel free to get adventurous with your base. You can add chocolate in there. You can add more nuts or different types of nuts. And yeah, let's just get it in. Using a spatula, just press it in. We want to make it as level as possible. Using the bottom of a glass also helps. So just using the glass to level it out. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I make sure that it's really, really level. But as soon as you've got it to this stage, we just need to pop it in the freezer and get the filling made. Right, it's time to drain off these cashew nuts. I've got two and a half cups, which I've just soaked in water for about two hours. You can do that overnight and it makes it a lot easier, but I've just used hot water, which speeds up the process. Now let's drain this through a colander and get them blitzed up. So I'm just gonna give these a little pat dry. And me being me, I don't like to do things the easy way. So I'm gonna do this cheesecake and have the chocolate on the bottom and I'm gonna have the peanut butter flavor on the top, which means we have to freeze chocolate first and then add the peanut butter flavor after. So to make things easy for myself, I've got two Ninja Cups and I'm gonna split the cashew nuts in half in each of them. So there should be about a cup and a quarter in each. Try not to get them everywhere like me. Just make sure they're level basically. They look about level to me, so let's get the rest of the filling ingredients in there. So next up, let's get some lemon juice in there. And I've just got one lemon, which I've got, I'm gonna cut in half and squeeze it through my hand, half in one and half in the other. Next, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of maple syrup. I've got a quarter of a cup of almond milk, so half a cup in total. I'm also gonna add coconut milk for the creaminess. And just a good little tip, if you just open it upside down, now that we've got the lid off, we can get the water out and it will just reveal the cream. And then get half of it in this one and half of it in that one. There's a little tip for you. Using the coconut cream just adds real creaminess to the cheesecake. After all, there's no cheese going in there, so we need to, we need to replicate that creamy texture. I'm also gonna add a touch of vanilla to each one. Now a very important ingredient is coconut oil and that just helps set the cheesecake. And I'm going in with just under half a cup in each one. Okay, so for the peanut butter flavor, we need to get some peanut butter and I have a tablespoon going in. Make sure you use a really good quality peanut butter. This is actually my homemade peanut butter and the recipe is actually in my book. So make sure you've pre-ordered the book and it's full of amazing recipes just like this one. And in the other Ninja Cup, obviously the chocolate flavor and I've got raw cacao powder going in just two tablespoons. So next we need to blend it and the chocolate layer first because that's going into the cheesecake first. And whilst it's blending, I'm gonna go and get the base out of the freezer. It's always worth 
giving it a little shake, making sure it's well combined because we need to make sure that it's really, really smooth. So the base is just about set. It's been in the freezer only since the time I've been making this and that's fine. I'm gonna get this creamy chocolate filling on top. I'm sorry if you can hear rain tapping on the roof. It's such a horrible day in London today. I need to get back to Wales. <laughs> so simply pour in this really creamy chocolate filling. Spread it out evenly. Make sure it's nice and level. Don't waste any, get it all in there. Look how creamy and shiny that looks. It looks absolutely beautiful. And just a little tip, if you have made any marks like here, just give them a wipe off because it will just mess up the presentation. So it's now time to pop this in the freezer for at least an hour or until it's just set. And then we'll pour this over once it's blitzed up. So whilst the chocolate layer is freezing, I'm just gonna blitz up the peanut butter layer. And when it's set, we're gonna get this on top. That's good for me. I really love the sort of peanut butter running through it, the little speckles. It just adds a nice look to it and it's gonna look amazing on top of the cheesecake. So the chocolate layer is just set. And I'm just gonna pour over the peanut butter layer really carefully. Look how creamy that looks again. Fill it right up, don't waste any. Use a spatula or a spoon to get the rest of it out and just smooth it off. Make sure it's nice and level and then let's get this in the freezer for around three hours. That will be enough time to make sure it's set right through. But just make this the day before serving, really. That's what I recommend. So I'm gonna get this in the freezer now and we'll see what it's like when it's set. Guys, I've literally just got this out of its mold. Just a little tip for you. I didn't show you it on camera, unfortunately, but if you're struggling to get it out of the mold, just get a hot kitchen towel and just wrap it around the outside of the ring and it'll pop out really easily. But what I'm gonna do as well to garnish it because it looks a bit plain at the moment, but you can see the nice two layer. We've got the peanut butter and the chocolate at the bottom. It looks really nice there. And I've just mixed up some raw chocolate. You can just go crazy with this chocolate. Uh, you can do drizzles over the top, or I'm gonna try and go slightly fancy. I don't know whether I'm gonna regret this because uh, it's quite difficult doing it, especially when the cameras are on you, but I'm gonna go just round the sides and just do some nice droplets. Hopefully that looks nice your side. After all, this is really chocolatey anyway, so you don't actually need this, but it will look really cool. Usually when I do my Instagram pictures, I take ages doing this, but this is probably the quickest I've ever put chocolate on a cheesecake like this before. Let's just have a look at this. I'm gonna make sure that there's drizzles around everywhere. This is looking absolutely great already. Imagine serving that to your guests, but I'm gonna put some really nice fresh berries on top of it. So. To serve on top, I'm gonna to put some really nice fresh berries and I'm gonna cut the strawberries in just in half, I think. I've got some raspberries, I've got some cherries and obviously the strawberries. I'm just gonna put these around the side. I'm not gonna to be too neat. I'm just gonna go around a mix of the creamy cheesecake and the fresh berries works really nicely. I've got some raspberries to go on. It's always good just to spin it round Make sure it's looking really nice from all the angles. And to me, that is looking lovely. Finally, some fresh mint leaves. As I said in my gazpacho video, I always present in odd numbers. They just look better to the eye, I think. So I'm just gonna add a few more sprigs of mint. And there it is. That's my peanut butter and chocolate raw cheesecake. Perfect in the summer with fresh berries, raw chocolate, and it's got a really nice date and nut crumb base. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to cut into it. Actually, I don't know whether I want to because it looks too perfect, but it's just beautiful. I can't wait to try it. So I resisted the temptation of eating it before the guys had finished getting the beauty shots, but just heated up this knife. I just put it in some hot water and it just makes it easier when cutting through. So there's no simple way to do it other than just getting involved and pressing into the cake. What I recommend is taking it out of the freezer 
and putting it in the fridge around about two hours before serving it. Let's get another big slice. This cake actually serves around 12 to 14 people because it is really filling. Obviously it's full of nuts. And there we have it. I could have cut it a bit neater, but it looks great. I'm gonna give it a try. It's really, really creamy. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. You first you get a bit of the peanut and then you get the chocolate and you get the really sweetness of the dates. It's so, so nice. It's really rich, packed full of flavor. And it's so sweet as well, which is great because there's no refined sugar in there. And yeah, that is a wonderful dessert. It serves 12 to 14 people and can be kept in the freezer for about three months. Please make this, and if you do make it, make sure you tag me in a picture on Instagram, at avantgardevegan. Pre-order my book now, Vegan 100 on Amazon. There's the mock front cover. It's gonna be a little bit more work done to it, I think, but it's a good start. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on my book. It's gonna be full of recipes just like this, and it's gonna be incredible. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Please subscribe, and if you wanna be part of the notification, notification gang hit the bell so you're the first ones to know about my new videos thank you very much